All right, guys, I smell some fast, fast Hyperlon. And uh, it's not just about fast Hyperlon. I mean, I don't know, what do you guys, who, who, needs some, who needs a knife when you can go ahead and get the, the keel of this airship, guys? Max, over here at the yacht show, uh, showing off the airships. What's up, Max? Enjoying the show, trying to stay dry. Oh man, it's been tough, dude. Yeah. It's been a tough show, but uh, let's go show some of these models. What, what, which models do we have here today? This is the 340 airship to our uh, right here, and then over here we have the 31. 31, okay, so let's, let's start over here on this bad boy, and let's walk them and talk about them real quick. I know they're a little different, so um, I really want them to focus on this because this is a fast performing Ribbo. Yes, it is. What are we looking at as far as speed on this bad boy? So with the two 300s, they were topping out at 70 miles an hour. 70 miles an hour. Guys, with twin 300 Mercury. The new V8s. The new V8s. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are liking those engines. It's definitely been a good fit with the airships because of the torque and basically reliability due to how light the boat is. It's a dry weight of 5,500 pounds. So. 300 scooted along really well. That is very nice, guys. Look how nice this thing looks. Um, I like the hard top. Look at this, guys. Nice hard top. I see the upholstery is a little different as far as the coloring and stuff on this guy. Yes. Yeah, with this one, we went with a couple two tone color, uh, two tone seats, and you just, you know, give a little bit more style to the boat. So these are all Hypalon tubes, right? Yes. Okay, Max, so, so we're right now here on the, on the 31. So tell me a little bit about the 31. So the 31 is actually an upgraded model from the 28. Okay. Um, the 28 has a more of a sleek back all the way down to the water, which makes it somewhat challenging getting off the back. With the 31, you have a little bit more space inside the cockpit, but you also have more of a swim platform on the back for when you're entering and getting out of the water. Let me tell you, man, this thing looks mean and it looks like it just wants to run and fly. What's the top speed on this guy with this uh, Mercury on it? Also 75 or 70 miles an hour. 70 miles an hour. So yes. single, 70 miles an hour. Yes. And yeah. this one with twins, it's 34 feet. Yes, 34 feet, also 70 miles an hour. You have about a 2,000 pound rough uh, weight difference between the two. So tell me a little bit about the helm here. The helm, set up very clean and efficiently. You have your electric bolster seats, which make it very easy to, you know, Get comfortable however you'd like to sit we have a little glove compartment over to the on the starboard side and then on the port side underneath the wheel it's actually your our whole fuse box so it's easy access for any if you pop a fuse or anything you know i, I i'm i'm here at the yacht show and i'm it's out of the water and it seems like it's a lot beamier than the last time we saw it definitely it, I, maybe just because of the color the color completely made it look and give it a, 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 a beamier look. Yeah, definitely added style to it. Definitely can show the lines a lot better than if you have just the plain one. What's the beam on this one? The beam is 10 feet. What about on the 31? 8.6. 8.6, so so you have a smaller smaller beam, so you're gonna go a lot faster. Definitely. Oh, how's the handling on both of these guys? Oh, uh, the handling's out, it's outstanding. It's yeah. crazy? Yeah, they cut very hard. It's based off a race boat model. So having the step haul through rough water, you're just gliding through everything, no problem. And if you need to do, if you want to do some sharp turns, thing cuts through the water, no slippage whatsoever. They look really nice, guys. They got some uh, foam uh, floors here as yeah, well. Sea deck. All sea deck. And uh, airship, man, they're doing it right here at the show. So where can they go to check out more information? You guys are one of the dealers, uh, SLT, right? Yes, yes. Uh, if you have any information, give us a call. We're SLT Collection in Fort Lauderdale, right on Sunrise. And let them know it's a cool place to go, guys. I mean, they sell watches, yeah, a really so cool place. C SLT stands for Sea Land and Time. Along with being the boat market, we also sell sport chassis, Freightliner trucks. We do exotic car storage, and built inside our showroom is a high-end watch and jewelry dealership. We gotta get store. we gotta get off from Montana on one of these airships, guys. Amazingness will happen. All right, guys, we're out of here. Let's go. Ribs, tenders, and dinghies here at the show. I smell a lot of hype on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors.
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.